G'day everyone. We've got a package, and this one isn't from Temu. We've got some goodies from Kitchen Warehouse to help with our stuff in the kitchen. Surprising that, isn't it? Kitchen Warehouse, and we're getting stuff for the kitchen. Big box. So let's have a look what's in here. We have bubble wrap. I hate this stuff. What do we do with all of this plastic stuff? All right, first one we'll get out. I had to get the order up to $100 to get free delivery and I'll do anything to get free delivery even if it costs me lots of money and buy things I don't want. I'm sure there's some economic sense in there somewhere. Anyway, I got this. From memory it was only $15, actual price and be up there and a link will be down there. And it's just some more jars, but they are nice jars. And it's a mix of sizes, so we've got a couple of little, little jam jars. We've got a large, uh, one litre I think, isn't it? Oh yeah, one litre, it's on the back there. Not quite, it looks like 800 mil. But they're nice, you can have a look, there's a pattern on them. Very pretty jar, which is nice. Then we've got another little jam jar. Ooh. These small ones are quite handy and I go through a lot of them, so. And then we've got two of these. These are the 350, 400 mil, I suppose. Again, got that really nice printing on the front and we'll reuse these over and over again so we've got two of them so a nice little collection of jars seven piece mason jar set old fashioned like me old fashioned next I'll get my cutter out and drop everything We have uh, more jars. Let's pull one out. We can have a look at it. Price up there, and these are just plain ones, no markings on them at all. But they're a good size for general use, um, and I go through a number of these because people don't give me my jars back. If I've given you samples, please give me my jars back so I can refill them. I'll even fill them up and give you more stuff. And here is the reason I actually put the order in. If you recall, I've got a really good um, yogurt and food fermenter over here, which I use all the time to make yogurt. Um, trouble is, it really only makes about 400, 500 mil of yogurt at, at one time, so I've got to do it several times a week, or a couple of times a week at least. So I went and bought this because it was on special. Now you may notice a reoccurring theme here. It was on special. Free shipping, yeah. Gotta get value out of stuff. So let's open it up and see what's in there. This is for yogurt. You love yogurt. I bought this to increase our yogurt and fermenting making capacity. It was, as I said, on special, half price, if you can believe shops saying things are half price, probably always half price, uh, and about $45, I think, from memory, again, price up there, link to it down there. Um, we'll be doing a video on using this and our old one, which we got for free. That was even better value. That cost us nothing. Uh, and see if the yogurt actually tastes any different from the two. So let's open her up and have a look what's in here. More plastic. Out it comes. We have an instruction book, which hopefully isn't like a Temu instruction book. It's a two-in-one electric yogurt maker fermenter. Thank you for choosing. Makes homemade yogurt in 10 hours, ferments pickles in 72 hours, has a 1.8 litre container and a 1.6 litre container and a strainer. 
So, how do we open this fella? There it is. More plastic. We have a, a lid. There's our heater container with our display on it. We'll turn it on, just have a quick look. Get rid of more plastic. It's a lid, a strainer, and it looks the same as the strainer we've got in the other one. And that's interesting, two plastic containers. The Eldy one that we got gifted is, uh, has glass containers, which I think is actually nicer. Um, I doubt that the plastic will alter the taste at all, but I just like things in glass. So there we go, we've got our 1.8, our 1.6, pretty much the same. We can drop our filter in there, and we'll give it a shot. All right, let's turn it on and see what the display's like. See if it's easy enough to use without reading the instruction book. All right, let's just peel that protective plastic off. We turn it on. C1. Well, that doesn't tell me much, does it? There's a power button. Oh, there we go, we've turned it on. 10 hour, so I'll take it that's what it needs. It's not 401, it must be 10 hour. C1, 10 hour. Nope, we're gonna to have to read the manual. Ah, oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? There's a quick unboxing. I've got some really nice, solid, reusable jars I can use for all kinds of things, including my yogurt, I guess. We've got a bigger, less fancy by the look of it, yogurt maker than our free one, and we'll see how it goes. The test will be coming up. Overnight, we will cook some yogurt up, and then we will have a tasting. So let's get on with it. Enjoy life, and I'll catch you in the kitchen.